likely to be um, about 12 new varieties for 2015 and if we go to the total number of varieties it's likely to be in excess of 50 which it has been for the past uh, few years but it'll depend on how many uh, I guess lines that uh, the breeding companies might discontinue in 2015. Well, there's only about 10 open pollinated varieties left. Uh, most of those are in the TT market, so the Trizan Tolerant, and in the Manola specialty market. And of course, we still got the conventional AV Garnet. They are starting to fall behind the hybrids for yield, but they're competitive with oil. For example, Gem, ATR Gem, Benito and Wahoo are still competitive with oil against some of the newer varieties like Hyola 559 TT. Well, this trial here that we've got at Gerodgery, we've ended up with a high plant stand, early luxurious warm temperatures, so above average temperatures, so the growth has been pushed forward. We've got quite a dense crop here. They had some sclerotinia infection and of course some of the plots now have lodged but we've ended up with a very dry spring. Well the actual maturity time, maturity time is essentially the harvest time, it's not that important really. What is important is actually the phenological development of a particular variety. So when it flowers and when it fills, uh, starts to fill grain, when growers are thinking about when they should sow a variety, what we need to do with the, with a variety is have the flowering not so early that you're going to get significantly hit by frost and predispose the crop to some more sclerotinia infection but on the other hand we want it to finish and fill grain in a where we've got adequate moisture and the temperatures are not too hot. I mean this site here at Gerodgery and in other sites in New South Wales that have got these black leg monitoring sites pathologists have observed an increase in level of infection of black leg on those varieties that have got A and B group resistance so if I mention a couple of varieties ATR Gem, Benito, Wahoo and Garnet Crusher have all got that group A resistance. It's not panic just yet but for those people that are in very tight rotations they do need to consider other resistance groups but more importantly next year is that they have adequate protection early on those varieties in particular and that would be jockey on the seed and perhaps impact fungicide with the fertiliser. After midwinter it turned quite dry so a lot of crops did not have significant uh, sclerotinia infection but if you are sowing a variety early you need to choose a variety that doesn't flower too early that's that's the key message out of that. The beet western yellows virus and the green peach aphid which is the the spreader or the vector of the virus the transmitter of the virus in southern New South Wales I guess between Wagga and Albury were sort of the highest incidence level some growers were quite badly affected some individual paddocks but overall it was not as bad as people thought. The, the key advice I guess for 2015 is that no seed should be sown without, um, without being treated with insecticide.